Yo, what's going on guys? Y5K here. Welcome to a new video on my channel. So today I'm going to review 87 rated Team of the Season Marco Van Kinkel. Yes guys, Team of the Season has finally arrived and Van Kinkel will be the first Team of the Season player I will do a review on. Anyway, his price is around 75k but I think his price will drop down. Anyway, as you can see here, this is his stats. 88 shooting, 84 passing with 84 dribbling. Anyway, his in-game stats, 81 sprint speed. 90 finishing, 86 shot power, 88 long shots, 81 vision, 78 crossing, 88 short pass, 86 long pass, 81 agility, 84 reactions, 86 ball control, 84 dribbling, 91 composure, 88 hitting accuracy, 87 stand tackle, 83 slide tackle, 82 jumping, 94 stamina with 81 strength. Really good all rounded stat and as you can see all his stats is above 70 instead of balance and marking. And his work rate is high medium which is great for any center mid or center attacking mid. 4 star weak foot with 3 star skill moves which is very good as well. Anyway guys this is the team that I'm going with to preview 87 rated team of the season Van Geekel. Before going into the gameplay if you know around it don't forget to subscribe drop a like on this video that will be appreciated. Almost every player on this team is untradeable so that's why I'm going with this team. And now let's jump into the gameplay and let's see what 87 rated team of the season Van Ginkel can do. 87 rated team of the season Van Ginkel. Does he really worth 75k? We will see on this gameplay. First of all, of course, team of the season Van Ginkel have really good or rounded stats. And I think he is a great center mid to have on your team. Just before going into the good and positive things that team of the season Van Ginkel have, let's talk about the best game style to use with him. If you wanna play him as a center mid or as a center attacking mid, you should go with Catalyst game style. Or if you wanna play him as a CDM, you should go with Shadow or Anchor game style. For me, I used Catalyst game style which increases his base and passing. And as you can see here, this is his stats with the Catalyst game style, 89 pace with 94 passing. Anyway guys, now moving on, let's talk about the good and positive things that team of the season Van Ginkel have. Starting off with the best thing with him, his physical. What I mean by his physical, everything with his physical is great. From strength, to stamina, to jumping, his physical is outstanding. Like for real he can shield the ball so good and his strength will help you a lot by defending and attacking with him. Anyway now moving on into another good thing with him, his passing. His passing is very good, really good vision and crossing. I played with him 3 games and he assessed 3 goals, 2 goals was by his crossing. His short pass is very good as well but I think he have problem with his long pass. I really expected more than what he have done. Now what about his dribbling, his dribbling is great, I think if you are watching the gameplay, you will know that his dribbling is very good. Anyway guys, now moving on, let's talk about the bad things that team of the season Van Kinkel have. Starting off with the worst thing with him, his base. I know he only have 77 base, but in game you will feel like he have 70 or 65 base only. Yes, his base is bad. His shooting is average, I'm not gonna say anything else about his shooting, but in the end I think he is a great center mid to have on your team, really good passing, dribbling and physical. For me I give him 7.5 out of 10 because of his vision, crossing, short pass, dribbling, jumping and strength. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and like and comment, tell me on the comment below if you wanna see any player review next and I will do my best. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.